Welcome back to Micro Maintenance, the home of wing nuts. And on this episode, we are reskinning a Sky Ranger. Morning. <laughs> tired. Very tired day. A big day yesterday. Uh, we got the fuselage skin on, which broke its back lots of time. Tweaking on the fuselage tubes to get them square because that will be thankful of that later. So we've done the bulk of stitching up the main fuselage. So what we're going to do now is uh, secure the front end so we click out it in place. Um, now we're going to rivet in what we can just to give it a bit more tension then we're going to fit the transit bar so these are the brackets that fit onto these um, ribs and that just pushes the outside out a little bit more gives it a bit more uh, stability and then we're going to have another pass at the fuselage to get more tension into it hit it with a uh, heat gun to try and get rid of, out of some of some of the wrinkles not all of them and then we're going to have a big session fitting the tail and uh, we're on tail surfaces now and the main point that I've looked at is I've removed the uh, covering and I'm doing a, a surface inspection and cleaning of all the areas so here you can see there's um, there is some element of surface corrosion which we're going to get rid of or surface pitting um, and so here you can see where we're giving it the ACF 50 bath um, it removes a lot of the surface corrosion around the service is the, the only time we really get to inspect the structure underneath is when the covering's off it doesn't happen very often so this is the time to do it and let's do it right just doing a uh, quick pass with a heat gun just trying to get it perfect will it ever be perfect not in my eyes but <laughs> So we are reskinning the flaps. We're just waiting on a few parts, so try and get a few control surfaces out the way. But we've done a varying things throughout this on, you know, what is there a need and, and why would you go from Dacron to Xlam apart from oh it looks better? But just want to show this is the um, top surface of the flap looks to be the starboard one. Take a look at the underside. Yeah. Now this is one of the most bizarre feelings ever. Uh, hugely satisfying and horrendous at the same time. These are in really good condition. So uh, we have 
to alligators that have been skinned. It's a bit of a challenge. I had to uh, heat them up, get some work going in there. But now we have two halves and we're ready to rebuild the elevator uh, portion. So what the next thing to do is whilst my soldering iron is heating up, uh, I can ident identify where the holes are. Uh, on one side, we've got the trim tab to refit as well. Um, so yes, we're gonna gently burn the holes in, get the uh, eyelets uh, for the hinges fitted in there, the trimmer, uh, and get this uh, built up, and then we can get it back on the plane. <laughs> Love deflections. You need a coffee, don't you, mate? You need a coffee. Too early. That'll be alright. Close enough. <laughs> no, it needs to be perfect. It needs to be perfect. So we've uh, stripped down both wings and to be fair the wing frames uh, look in really good condition which is great um, but whilst we were trying to remove the uh, wing tensioning rods the upper and lower uh, cabin side tubes there straight away you could feel that that material was just on the borderline brittle so anyway straight away we thought let's better test this and see how it looks. So we've been interesting to learn on the skins on just how badly have they been affected by UV degradation. So we've been bet testing varying parts, a bet tested the fuselage, and to be fair, it wasn't so bad. You know, it was close, but certainly as we're getting hands on these skins more and more, you can certainly feel, you know, the, the feel, um, like they're on the way out. So, you know, I can understand why these guys so uh, want to change and go to the x lamp. But I thought it'd be interesting to have a look at what tension that these do break at. So it should normally be a thousand grams on Dacron. So this is our BETS tester. I'm just gonna pop that in there. That doesn't feel so ba too bad going in. I'm gonna pull this on. That's where it should be. It's already gone, so. Uh, I bring that back out there, you can see you've got a small rip. So let's try that now to epic fail. On to a thousand. Twelve hundred. So yeah, well about twelve hundred, twelve fifty. Uh yeah, changing these skins, very good idea. Once we realised that the skin was nowhere near worth even saving just for in the back of a cupboard, it, the easiest way to get that skin off was to run a Stanley knife through it. Uh, that probably was the horriblest and most bizarre thing to do, to take a Stanley knife to a, uh, to a wing, but it did mean that the skin came off relatively easy. But when we were pulling the battens out, <coughs> um, and we noticed this before we did this to be honest, we noticed there was a dip. When we're taking the battens out, there's quite a number of these are broken. You see that one there is what it should look like, but all of these are fractured. Um, so it's a conversation with Paul to see if we can get new inserts. If not, um, and I believe it to be the latter, then it's gonna be new battens because these actually huge, make a huge difference in the camber of the wing. So. Uh, Slightly bad news uh, on that front, but hey, we're moving forwards and we're progressing. You having fun? Oh, nothing I'll enjoy more than shoving my head in small spaces. 